Welcome back to the Sailing Tourist. In our last video, we had Luna hauled out for new bottom paint, a new boot stripe, and other servicing. And of course, we visited some more rum distilleries. So much rum. Oh. And soon, it was time to get the dreaded stick up the nose before sailing away from Martinique. But wait, we forgot something. Ah, it's rewind time. We are Rob and Michelle, and this is our 2001 ML Super Marimu. Her name is Luna. Come along with us as we sail to new places. We have one more place to check out before leaving Martinique. We sailed six hours north to the town of St. Pierre with our friends on Dorothy Rose. St. Pierre was founded in 1635 and was known as the Paris of the Caribbean. That is, until a volcanic eruption destroyed everything. So what we got here is clearly an explanation all in French. So uh, with my excellent translation, volcano go boom, blows a bunch of shit up. <laughs> At least that's what it looks like anyway. We'll see how that is. <laughs> These are the ruins of former storefronts and warehouses. They stored merchandise that was waiting to be shipped out to Europe. Most of the buildings had domestic items such as ovens to suggest that the shopkeepers may have lived there as well. Up above the ruins, houses an old fountain, some cannons, and a memorial museum of the catastrophe. On May 8, 1902, and in the course of a few short minutes, the eruption of Mount Pele destroyed the entire city of St. Pierre, claiming thousands of lives and burying all traces of life under layers of ash and debris. No one knows the exact number, but it's estimated between 20 and 30,000 people lost their lives. There are only three known survivors of the eruption. The most famous one was Sibaris. He survived because he got into a brawl and was placed in solitary confinement in this very cell. And this cell, with its thick walls, saved his life. After three days, he was found badly burned, but alive. He lived out the rest of his life touring with Barnum and Bailey Circus. St. Pierre never fully recovered from the devastation. It is believed that Mount Pele is likely to erupt again in the future. So when all the restaurants are shut down, this is one of these crazy French things. Restaurants open from like 11.30 to 12 to about 3 o'clock. And then they shut down until 7 o'clock in the evening, and then they open back up again. So all the restaurants are shut down now. So at least the handy fresh gelato is open for, uh, for business. Yummy, 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 I got love in my tummy. What am I doing right now? Just videoing. Videoing? Okay. What do you think? I'm videoing. Yeah, you're videoing. Why aren't you videoing? Well, I can take pictures. Oh, okay, you're gonna take pictures and I'll video. This church was completely destroyed in the eruption. It was reconstructed, but nothing like its previous glory. We returned to the boat for dinner and to rest up for tomorrow's passage to Dominica. We are here with a beautiful sunset and views of a peaceful Mount Pele. I told you you're my pole, 
Feel the wind and fire, we try to hold on. We build this ship together, searching for our home. Despite the storm that hit us, we are still on board. Dancing in the moonlight, the world just stop and stares. We got no destination, I'll take you anywhere. All the doors we've opened, and all the books we've closed. Words just come together, story that we never told. So far Taking for my own You said just keep holding on If you're about to break Oh, I always be your captain From our failures we have grown You said just keep holding on If you're about to break Monica. We still have another six hours or so to the Anchorage and Portsmouth. I mean, lots of fun out here. 20 knots of wind. Eight and a half knots on my knots through the water. Life's not freaking out too bad about healing. <laughs> so, so I just hit 30 degrees there a couple times. Yeah. <laughs> Back and forth. Yep. All good. Yeah. Both sailing very well. We're doing good. We'll be over and be sitting on our ass for the next eight days, seven days, six days. COVID bullshit, you know. Oh well. This was probably our fastest passage to date, and it's always so nice once you get settled into your next spot. We checked in, and we have to stay on board Luna for five days and then get a PCR test done. They gave us these nifty orange wristbands to wear, I guess to make sure we don't sneak off the boat. Finally, day five arrived, and we hopped into the dinghy and headed in for the dreaded PCR test. <laughs> Coronavirus test number eight. No, Ten. no, not that many. At least eight. No. At least there seven the other day.
Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was that bad. I'm choked. <laughs> I'm gagging. <laughs> okay. I have to say that was probably the worst experience yet. The lady had the throat swab so far down my throat, I couldn't even say ah. I really thought I was going to throw up. Now on to happier thoughts. We only have another day or two on quarantine to wait for the results, which actually came in on the seventh day. Time to hoist the flag and let's pick up our papers. How's it feel to be off the boat, Michelle? Let's uh, redo that when we don't have car stuff. Okay. How do you feel being off the boat now, Michelle? Woohoo! Woo! No more armband on for free. Now we can go uh, run a mock and do things. And to do things we shall. Dominica is known as the nature island of the Caribbean. It is also called the land of many rivers for it has 365 of them. Dominica is a volcanic island where you can still see geothermal activity in the form of hot sulfur water bubbling up. It is home to nine active volcanoes. Cold Sulfur sits in an old volcanic crater and is just a short walk from the roadway. Let's go check it out. Smells nice down here. Doesn't it? <laughs> Thought I heard a burbling noise. <laughs> Ooh, that smells nice. Here, I'll get a close up of the burble. Smells really nice out here. Sulfury. <laughs> there are 17 small shallow pools. It is very unique here. You can see the bubbling water. You can smell the sulfur, but it's not hot to touch. It's cold. You can't touch this. You can't touch this. Our next stop was to Point Baptiste and the Red Rock Cuisine Cafe. There is a short path to take down to the point. This area is called Red Rocks, a very unusual coastal formation of smooth red earth that's been compacted and shaped by the ocean. It was formed by a fast-moving lava flow. The lava cooled and then left behind a slight gray stone. 
Over time, the iron in the stone began to oxidize, which essentially means it rusted. The rust is what gives the ground its golden red color. This really reminds me of our home in Las Vegas, Nevada, except there's no ocean view in Nevada. Looks pretty cool. We'll jump in and go for a swim. <laughs> I don't know if I could swim out of that scourge and that current there. It'll kind of beat you up pretty good. I'll walk over here and get a bit better look. Yep. I don't want to get too close to that. We're not going to want to get very wet at all. I think Rob is playing the part of Indiana Jones looking for an adventure. Nope, no adventure there. Nope, no adventure there either. Get up! <laughs> I think this through all the way. <laughs> That's why I didn't go down. We had our fun, and now it's time to head back and get some lunch at the Red Rock Cuisine. Welcome to the restaurant by Sparkle. She belongs to the owner, and it's Sparkle's mission to welcome everyone to the restaurant with a belly rub. As we drove around the island, we met other cute dogs as well. We also played with some goats. Stay tuned for our next video where we check out some waterfalls, go explore the fort up on the hill, relax at a couple of the hot springs. Thanks for joining us and see you in the next video.